It's not possible to pre-program robots with all the knowledge they need about the world. There's just too much diversity in the human environment. And so instead we're focusing on enabling robots to learn about the world so that they can have uh, additional capabilities that were not prepared for them in the factory. So the focus of my lab and my research group is to enable people who are not roboticists, not computer scientists, to teach robots new tasks and new, new behaviors. So if you were to buy a robot and bring it into your home, how would you customize its ability to fit your particular environment. The Robot Autonomy and Interactive Learning Group at WPI has two laboratories where students and faculty work to create the robots and a separate laboratory called the Robot Apartment where the robot lives by itself and it's furnished with furniture that enables the robot to operate in that space 24-7. The Robots For Me project has two particular goals. And the first one is to enable worldwide access to robotics to a really broad audience, to bring robotics to anyone with a browser. They can log in and control our robots in our lab. The online interface allows you to visualize the overhead view of the room itself, as well as all the sensor data that the robot has, 3D sensors, onboard cameras, gripper cameras, and so on. People will be able to teach it how to clean up a room, or clean up a table, or make a mess of the room. The second goal is for us to leverage this new community to improve the underlying robotic system itself. As soon as we develop a new algorithm or a new interface or a new gadget, we're able to put that up online immediately and see what effect it has on the pe people's ability to use the robot. The program's been growing. I think it can really revolutionize the way a lot of the research is done by enabling much more crowdsourcing, much more online interaction, and hopefully it'll enable us to develop much more uh, exciting and, and novel applications for robotics in shorter time frame.